I will be no foolish wand waving or silly incantations in this class. As such, I don't expect many of you to appreciate the subtle science and exact art that is potion making. However, for those select few who possess the predisposition, I can teach you how to bewitch the mind and ensnare the senses. I can tell you how to bottle fame, brew glory, and even put a stopper in death. Then again, maybe some of you have come to Hogwarts in possession of abilities so formidable that you feel confident enough to not pay attention. Mr. Potter, our new celebrity. Tell me, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? You don't know? Well, let's try again. Where, Mr. Potter, would you look if I asked you to find me a bezoar? And what is the difference between monkshood and wolfbane? Pity. Clearly, fame isn't everything, is it, Mr. Potter? Good luck today, Potter. Then again, now that you've proven yourself against a troll, a little game of Quidditch should be easy work for you. Even if it is against Slytherin. Now, what would three young Gryffindors, such as yourselves, be doing inside on a day like this? Careful. People will think you're... up to something. You were seen by no less than seven muggles. Do you have any idea how serious this is? You have risked the exposure of our world. Not to mention the damage you inflicted on a whomping willow that's been on these grounds since before you were born. Silence! If I might, Headmaster. Perhaps Potter and his friends were simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. However, dinner. Yes, Miss Granger? Expelliarmus! <laughs> Perhaps it would be prudent to first teach the students to block unfriendly spells, Professor. Weasley's wand causes devastation with the simplest spells. We'll be sending Potter to the hospital wing in a matchbox. Might I suggest someone from my own house? Malfoy, perhaps? Girl has been snatched by the monster lockout, young man. It has come at last. Aren't you saying just last night that you've known all along where the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets is? What about Potter? Should he be warned? Turn to page 394. That's not really your concern, is it, Potter? Quiet. Now, which one of you can tell me the difference between us? No one. How disappointing. Potter, what are you doing wandering the corridors at night? Extraordinarily like your father you are, Potter. He too was exceedingly arrogant. Strutting about the castle. Turn out your pockets. Turn out your pockets. Ah, vengeance is sweet. Potter, come back here, Potter! It must be mere coincidence. However, if we are to truly discover the meaning of these events, perhaps we should, for the time being, let them unfold. You will attempt to resist. Prepare yourself. You sent for me, headmistress. I'm afraid you've used up all my stores in interrogating students, the last of it on Miss Chen. Unless you wish to poison him, and I assure you I would have the greatest sympathy if you did. I cannot help you. Balmera Sonento. Balmera Sonento. Balmera Sonento. Have you ever considered that you ask too much, that you take too much for granted? Has it ever crossed your brilliant mind that I don't want to do this anymore? Have I ever <laughs> You dare use my own spells against me, Potter? Yes, I'm the Half-Blood Prince. Many of you are surely wondering why I have summoned you at this hour. It's come to my attention that earlier this evening, Harry Potter was sighted in Hogsmeade. Now, should anyone, student or staff, attempt to aid Mr. Potter, they will be punished in a manner consistent with the severity of their transgression. Furthermore, any person found to have knowledge of these events who fails to come forward will be treated as equally guilty. Now then, if anyone here has any knowledge of Mr. Potter's movements this evening, I invite them to step forward. No. Take them. Take them. Please. Take them to the posse. Look at me. You have your mother's eyes. 